Hello friends, uh, welcome back. So agenda today is uh, getting started with uh, Linux uh, and I will go through that uh, some of the options of setup of the Linux machine and uh, today and uh, rest in the next session. So uh, this is the starting point uh, basically for forthcoming Linux discussion and this can help engineers to start learning basics of Linux and Linux installation procedure it is always recommended to do Linux installation with the assistance of IT administrator. One should reach each instruction carefully before starting the process. You may go through all the options discussed here. So this is the link basically provided for uh, Linux related uh, thing. You can directly uh, go to this uh, site. Uh, so that one is basically the uh, actual uh, site link. If I click on that, so it should reach that uh, this site and uh, the download option. And depending on that uh, version you decide Ubuntu, this one latest one or older one, you can use that. And older one you can check here. And uh, here installation guide is step by step. Okay. So let me go through that. So standard uh, procedure. So what are the options available? Basically, number one, a dedicated desktop for Linux is always best option because if you are going to work on a multiple project, so that is the best option. Alternatively, one can go for dual boot uh, options that is Windows and Linux both together. If option 1 is not visible, then what is the option 2? One can also use virtual box simulation option under windows. So under windows you can try virtual box simulation. So I have tried in windows um, 8 version, windows 10 version and uh, so it is working fine. So it has the advantage of creating several virtual machines of different Ubuntu versions provided you have enough memory resources because it will require RAM, it will require disk space also. Uh, so many times you may need to work on a particular Ubuntu version for compatibility with a particular PSP for support package. So why you need several machines sometime let's say you are working on a particular software development kit or board support um, package and that is supporting uh, uh, still supporting the older version of Ubuntu and then you need the older 16.04 uh, or 14. Uh, point something and uh, and at the same time you are working on other project which is based on the latest uh, Ubuntu system. So in that case you can have uh, multiple um, machines and you can switch to a uh, particular uh, machine uh, within that uh, uh, virtual box. Okay. So I found this link. So this link is basically uh, if I go to this particular link, uh, let me go to this. So this link uh, this is the original link. Apart from that, this is the virtual box related link. So starting from the virtual box and creating the virtual machine, you know, step by step with proper picture description. So I found this is very useful. So uh, because this is just a user friendly, so I will not go through uh, this uh, right now and you may use this particular link for installation of uh, this uh, uh, Linux in your uh, machine. This is the virtual box and finally after installation of this you should be able to see this screen finally. This screen under virtual machine. Okay. So 
if required uh, i will discuss some other options of uh, virtual box related in next session so right now the agenda is to go through the you know uh, various options and uh, uh, so this is uh, right now not the agenda so the so first uh, you need to uh, opt for whatever options you uh, feel better for you you have to decide basically so this is this was the second option and third option suppose if you are not confident of installing your ubuntu in either of the in because above cases either it was stalling in that uh, dedicated machine is anyway uh, not a problem but if you are uh, installing dual boot so it, it requires you know formatting all those kind of stuff and second case also if you are not sure that virtual box or what to you know in terms of hard disk space what to reserve although that that is very user friendly i have not seen any problem with the windows with that okay so if you want to just try it or for some reason if you want to keep one with you in the usb bootable usb so pen drive uh, you know uh, such kind of options um, so you can buy uh, from uh, this page also like uh, is the high speed um, uh, i have given just one uh, here high speed and uh, usb uh, 3.0 base so you can use uh, that also and uh, the benefit of that you can put this usb uh, in any windows machine and boot it from that uh, particular usb only you have to take care in case of windows 10 there is uh, some security option so that has to be disabled so i will go through that creating this bootable usb stick on windows so what you need you need you need to buy one usb stick or pen drive i i will recommend to buy the uh, faster one so right now you are able to see it otherwise if suppose uh, you are using mobile so you have to go to the right side uh, top corner and there is bar menu bar so click on that then you will be able to see the left one an open source and free tool we will discuss below uh, here like uh, Rufus and uh, MS Windows um, it, this is as per that uh, it says that this uh, and or beyond but these days Windows 8 10 you can use that and one Ubuntu ISO file you need so Ubuntu ISO file again I have link I have provided the same link which we have seen earlier and it download from this and uh, download the Rufus this is free of cost and uh, then uh, USB you launch this particular application after installation insert your USB device device is automatically de detected if more than one device detected then you have to identify which USB device basically you are targeting suppose you have uh, two USB slots uh, correct so select the ISO file by clicking on click uh, on the select option and keep the partition scheme as MBR for best compatibility with newer hardware set target system as UFI because that uh, uh, you know that with windows you have UFI or BIOS two options are there so if you are using older hardware all the latest one are with UFI so if you are using older hardware then you have to, you have to change this to BIOS or UFI option okay so that option should be also there and click on the start and uh, then uh, so if this uh, image uh, uses the higher version of linux and additional files are downloaded by rubus so you will get this uh, warning basically so you have to say yes and uh, you will then be alerted that has detected that ubuntu iso this image this means that same image file can be used as a source for both a dvd or a usb pen drive without requiring conversion so select write an iso image board or uh, this click on ok you have to select this and make sure that uh, whatever usb device you are using 
you know should not have any valuable data otherwise anyway you will lose that so uh, better to use that uh, you know new usb in which you don't have any valuable data or um, you know uh, take a backup so this anyway gives the warning so after that it gets copied to this and uh, your bootable uh, usb is ready so next what you need to do insert how to use this bootable usb insert the usb into the system turn on your system boot menu boot menu uh, pressing this f2 or escape you know while booting then select ufi option so whatever is highlighted is just highlighting the option so you need to check here where the ufi option is not visible similarly then you have to boot menu you have to try ubuntu without installing suppose if you don't plan to install then try ubuntu without installing you need to select from this option then after that you will see that it, it takes some time so that's why i suggested to go for the faster uh, uh, usb pen drive so it takes some time for that uh, in the beginning but uh, later you should be able to uh, try it okay so by the way i am trying to improve that um, usability of my blog site and um, so if you did you find anything uh, post helpful so uh, you can help me to grow my readership by sharing this blog post and at the same time i need your help uh, for you youtube uh, channel where where we will be discussing over the linux so there you, you please subscribe to this um, uh, YouTube uh, channel okay uh, okay uh, thanks a lot uh, for your time have a great day